Spartans! Every drop of blood, sweat, and tear has led to where you stand right now! This is where we hold them! This is where we fight! This is where they die! I hope audio was coming through all right. I didn't even realize my mic was way over here. But uh, there's usually a, I don't want to call it a gimmick, but there's usually something special about uh, video game sequels when they're games like Hand of Fate. So I'm really curious to see what's going to be different. Uh, I Looking at some screenshots, it looks like we're still facing the same uh, game master. But... I honestly, I don't know. So I really just want to get in and get to it. The same sort of magic effect, so. Just kind of see what's going on. I don't know if this is going to turn into a series or if it's just going to be more of just like a uh, exploring and seeing what makes this one different. Your memories are fading even now gone to form the soul of the game we play. These pieces are new, as are the stakes. Life, death, and vengeance. We must ride, for time is short, and you have much to learn. He looks like he got Make hurt a little bit. Make your first choice, and let us set these wheels in motion once more. Oh, does it actually matter who I am this time around? Uh, I will go with male, just because I am male. These cards represent your history and our game. We know where they end, for you are here. Therefore, these cards must guide you to my side. Let us see okay. what the journey holds. My cat is being really annoying. The fool, the fool oh, steps great. into nothingness because they know no better. In the same way, you must step into the void. You are a blank slate, and together we will write your history. Okay. Are these actually random? Oh, okay, so it's all still kind of this. You've stumbled many miles through this forest in search of the thieves who robbed you. Though exhausted and hungry, you are determined to reclaim your father's amulet. Okay. Catch sight of the thieves hacking at a large tree and arguing with something. Four of greed and the leader. So does that mean I'd be fighting five bandits? Every element of the game okay. has been improved. Even those that seem at first glance familiar. Do not worry. You will soon understand the nuances. This is so weird. Because I'm like, oh, I know what's going on. But then he says something like, Elements that you are familiar with have changed. It's like, Ugh. Creeping forward, you overhear their leader spouting orders. It's simple, he says. The idiot walks down the road, you push over the tree and jump out. They'll be too scared to put up a fight and we'll get rich. Why don't we just jump out and stab him? What retorts? Mm -hmm. Another hooded figure chimes in. Yeah, corpses don't put up much of a fight either. I know. Frustration arises in the leader's voice. The Empire doesn't care if a few farmers lose some sprouts. But drop a corpse on the royal road and the place will be filled with soldiers before you even spent the coin. We don't need that trouble. Now quiet, here they come. You soon spot a group of farmers coming around the corner, bringing their wares to market. Three of toil. Three farmers, five bandits. Leaves fell the tree into the path of the inspected farmers that leap out weapons range. Give us all your food! Leap to the farmer's defense. You draw your weapon with practiced skill. Well, you hear the leader's voice, and you lads handle this. I'll meet you when you're done. 
phase four. Four of, four of greed, three of toil. I hope it teaches me how to play this game again. Okay, okay. Graphics are better. Thug. Violence for the sake of violence and theft for the sake of money. Thieves attack frequently and can evade standard attacks, making heavy weapons less effective. Okay. Oh, I have allies! Okay. Okay, okay. stumble in their fumble in their haversacks and gratitude. Thank you, adventure. I'm sure that after they took their food, they would have taken our lives as well. Supply of grain! Some food! Yay! Five food. You fall on the food with a sigh, shoveling bread in your mouth to quell your hunger. Your satisfaction lasts only one moment before you realize your father's amulet is not among the taken. The leader must still have it. You're set to your feet, determined to find him. Okay. You find the leader of the thieves and retrieve my amulet. Oh, my oh no, is this no not this goblin? No. While enjoying a moment beside the fire, you spy a strange figure approaching your camp. It's a goblin dressed in what must pass for goblin finery. Beneath the filthy fox pelt serving an ill-fitting wig, the goblin winks at you with wild red eyes. Aha! I've been roaming for hours trying to find you! must get this over with quickly if I have any hope of getting to all the people on my list before sunrise. It lowers a sack from his shoulder. Now within my sack I can conjure whatever your heart desires. The goblin's voice trails off as he examines his sack. Well, I could. There wasn't a bloom and a great big hole in it. His head disappears entirely into the bag until his bulbous nose protrudes from the, from the breach. A new plan, then. The goblin pulls out his last trinkets. Soldier's sword... Warrior's axe and shield. Okay. Boom! Okay. Cut off my table. Okay. Uh, armor breaker. Choice. Now I must go. There are many others I must visit before I can rest. The goblin runs off into the night, his fox wig flapping in the evening breeze. Boom, get off the table. Either get off the table or just like stay. You gotta you gotta pick one. You can't have both. Okay. Find the leader of the amen. Okay, moving on. Next one. Finding Fortis. This spoke. card has a token. Can you find it? Your journey through the forest is interrupted by an inquisitive child. Are you searching for the forest folk? My uncle says that they used to walk these woods giving out gifts. I want to find one and ask for lemon cake. As they dash off in here under a nearby log, the child shouts back, Remember, if you meet the forest folk, give me a lemon cake. Uh, get me a lemon cake. In the other direction, an eerie song hangs in the air. You attempt to find its origin. Okay. Yeah! Follow the song through thicket and stream until you find a open glade bathed in golden sundown. Find an aged maiden, her posture bent like the bows of a forest. It's been twelve winters since I had a visitor. Her voice is a whisper, yet it thunders in your ears. You may visit me when you are in need, adventurer. 
This is yours now. Even if you lose the challenge, you have earned this token. Oh! That's new. Because I had to succeed in the challenges last time to gain tokens. Nothing could be more fitting now than meeting the mage who started this all. Or at least, started it all for you. A trail of fallen trees and distraught farmers leads you to the thieves who have stolen your amulet. Seems their infighting has only gotten worse. The bandits surround their former leader, Weapon Strong. Everyone will get their fair share. There's no need for violence, the leader implores. Whoever heard of a thief talking about fair shares spits one. You turn up and boss us around, we've barely stabbed anyone. It's been days since I've stabbed anyone. Days. The leader notices you approach and waves you over. As much as I'd love to continue this discussion regarding stabbings, I'm afraid I have urgent business to discuss uh, with my associate here. As he greets you, he whispers, keep me alive and there'll be plenty of gold for his trouble. Tell him gold cannot replace the amulet he stole. Holds up a finger. Uh, first rule of negotiation, never let them know what you want. Kill my associates and I will gladly return your amulet. Ever reliable, the thieves will draw their blades to mug you. The leader hurries away to hide. Ah, uh, let's fight. Tip, perform a quick repost by attacking immediately after defending an enemy attack. Okay. Okay, so it's, I gotta get back in the rhythm of everything. The thief neither nods and approves at the carnage before him. He holds out a hand. My hand. He holds out a hand. A name is Malakith. Is Malaklips. Bard extraordinaire. His smile fades under your withering glare. Sensing your anger, he raises his hand in surrender. Wait! Let's not be hasty. We're on the same side here. I'm an upstanding citizen just like you. I've been working with the thieves, yes, but only for the greater good. No, really. They were killing people. I came along. I know it seems bad, but look. He pulls out an amulet from his pocket and presses it in your hand. All is forgiven, yes. You stare at the amulet and it does not look familiar. Oh, Malaclip says, scratching his head, he opens a small satchel. So which one is yours? Befriended Malaclips the trickster. We should probably get to know one each other, seeing as we're going to be friends for life. Tell me, where are you from? I don't know what the Eagle Amulet does for me. I don't know why. I have a feeling that's going to be an important. belt, eh? You don't say. Good sorts from around the eastern belt. Very trusting. 
Oh, and by the way, I, I mean we friend owe money to... Uh, wait. Oh, by the way, I, I mean we friend owe money to Vignus and Thieves Guild. He's quite angry at us. We should have the Mire Bridge together to appease him. His gold might help. Although, come to think of it, I'm rather busy. Malaclip's eyes are pretty traitor hanging up the road. So it'd be best if you get the gold, and I'll meet you there. Smaller pieces of our fates shattered into fragments. Collect enough, you enter. and your reward will come in time. You enter a competition of strength and fair. A gold prize is available to the winner. First round of the competition, your opponent is the diminutive Roland, a halfling from a traveling group of acrobats. Oh, there's dice. These dice are another small game embedded in our game. Let's throw the dice. Victory, you are learning. Is that just lucky? Or is it like meant to have that done? Roland is no match for your strength. He gives a disapproved backflip off the table and collects, collects his meager winnings. The cartwheels out the door. Take a reward from the purser on the way out of the tavern. When you return, you will compete in the next round for a larger prize. Excellent. The roads the have become stamps. even more deadly since the Empire has come to power. Despite their promises of the opposite. Hmm. The road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling her. Please help! She cried. I can rob my band of thugs. Is there any yeah, assist? Dice target 12. And that's gonna be harder. Hey! Yeah! I got this. I'm doing good. Thank you, the woman says, as you open her characters. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Hey! We rolling in the gold. Okay, okay. Celebrations in aid of what? You see how quickly the actions of the usurper are turned into tales for children. Okay. Nearing the sleepy village of... The sleepy hamlet of Dulwich, you find the villagers in the midst of some kind of celebration. Much of the ex activity concerns a large paper and wood statue depicting a fearsome war warrior looking triumphantly over a prone lizard man. Is that me? Is that me from the last game? What's the logo? What's going on? A friendly stable hand explains, in a bygone age, our town was beset by half men, half lizards. There was no food, no respite, and very little hope. Salvation came in the form of a nameless warrior who hunted the beasts for little more than a handful of coins and a crust of bread. He smiles warmly at the festivities. We honor the warrior like this. The statue is filled with food and gold. We take turns, smashing it to bits with a club. You're welcome to join us, and you may keep whatever falls out. Sure. Why not? The parade ends in the town square. You watch the villagers take turns smashing the statue with a club and gathering the food and gold that spills out. A local notice your interest and asks if you like to turn. Sure, I'll join in. Okay, success. Not huge success, but success. Some gold falls out. Alright, I will take it. I will gladly take that. All right, how much? You survey the spoils and try to scoop them up before anyone else can. <laughs> you scramble to gather the bounty that you unleashed. Would you like to try to gather more? No, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk like you leave the town celebrations with whatever you've gathered. Nice. I want to. I want to try to get all the crumbs. Water is a symbol for the many thoughts that churn beneath the surface. What is it you're thinking of? What concern is worrying at your mind? Let it um, fall into the waters beneath. Uh, character, don't know what he's worried about. Me, person, I got a lot. I got a lot. Uh, while crossing a stone bridge, you suddenly find yourself confronted by a villainous band. Four of steel. You could stand and fight the fiends, or throw yourself into the mercy of the river below. I will stand and fight triumphantly I ready my weapon battling four of steel are these just like well armored thugs these look like helmets so I think these are probably just like oh just regular guard oh I'm 
fighting the law. The first line of defense against any who would question the Empire. Empire enemies wear armor that reduces damage by three, rendering light weapons less effective. Okay. Okay. That's good. Build your enemy's blood. You search the bodies for anything useful. Armory, gain equipment. Yay! Oh, I got an axe. Oh, it's a heavy weapon versus the. I like, I like the sword. It's quick enough. Plus, I can right now. I'm going. I don't want to equip it. I will take it. I know it deals more damage, but I don't. I I, I like. Here we come to the end of the beginning, running errands for mages. This will become a theme, I dare say. You arrive at Meyer Bridge as the sun begins to dip below the horizon. You find Malaclips pursuing a selection of cheeses by the burger. Ah! This is my good friend the adventurer. Did you bring the gold? Fignus has arranged to meet us at the graveyard. Go to the graveyard. Sure. You wonder whether the spot was chosen for its seclusion or its easy body disposal. Why not both? Vignus greets Malaclips with a sly grin. Looks like you turned up after all. And with a lackey in tow. We had our doubts, you know. A of... Oh, Anarchist of Greed. Vignus cracks his knuckle and giggle, giggles. Well now, Malaclips, convince me. What's to stop me cutting off your head today? You reveal your gold as Malakip scrounges in his pockets for some too. I... Why can't I just fight? The heavy satchel of riches lands at Vignus the with a thud that echoes through the silence of the cemetery. I lose 70 gold. That's our deal done, Malakip says, worry obvious in his voice. No need for any further troubles. I'm sorry, Mal. Vignus grins. You should have known the guild was never going to let you pay with cash stolen from our members in the first place. Oh, I do get to fight. Four of greed! I'm glad I stuck with the sword and didn't equip that axe. Because that axe is not super effective against uh, greed, I think they said. So, anarchist of greed. Vignus the praise. Treacherous, greedy, and dangerous combination. Anarchists throw flaming bombs and cause fire damage. Your armor is of no use to you. Ow. 
Arthur scratches his chin thoughtfully. Seems you could do with someone savvy to help you navigate these tricky matters of diplomacy. Like maybe killing everyone wasn't the best idea. Come on, let's discuss our partnership over an ale or two. Do I get my gold back? The Fool completed. Well done. You have cleared the first challenge. And For now we can move on to the next. Cardinal. <gasps> Woo! Shadow beasts have entered the realm. That's not good. We're finding the forest folk, the old maiden. Okay, all right. Welcome to my challenges. Together, we will traverse 22 paths of wisdom and despair in the hope of awakening. Okay, okay. Um. This looks like a Game of Thrones. This looks like the map from Game of Thrones, so that's already kind of cool and interesting. The magician, so that's the fool. This is the next card. Okay. Magician is the next card. I think I'm going to end this episode here. I think I'll probably do just what I'll do is I'll do one of these cards, unless it takes, unless it's like super quick taking a super long time. I'll try to do like one of these cards in an episode. I think that'll be the, the general idea. So, uh, in the meantime, I think that's that's it then. Um, wow. This is, this is good. This is good. I like it. Um, I'm gonna leave this episode here. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm probably gonna obviously do this as a series. I'm curious to see, because I don't remember the Empire being a thing. Um, the Nameless Warrior was obviously us. Didn't I thought in the first game, the game master was, like, ruled everything. So, did we become the emperor? And we became a bad guy? That would be crazy if, like, the end of this game has us, uh, fighting the character from before. But either way, um, for now, I'm gonna end it. I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like and a comment down below if you did. Also, hit that subscribe button so you can see more content as it comes out. I'll see all you guys in the next one. Catch you guys later.